Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 2. We had a, a bit of commotion over the last couple days in Nookstone. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, some new debris over here that crashed down uh, against this mountain over here recently. And uh, so we're not quite sure what's going on, but we may figure that out here in the next episode or so. But uh, everyone has been sidetracked with uh, the new family that moved into town. Um, we have a new circus family that, that uh, has decided to join us here in Nookstone. This is the Vaughn Creep Circus is the name, led by Mr. Von Creep himself here in the nice Hawaiian shirt. So Mr. Von Creep, the circus is a little different than your typical circus. When, when Mr. Von Creep was a kid, he had some pretty bad allergies and uh, couldn't handle all the, uh, the animals that you find in your typical circus. So he envisioned one day, whenever he was rich and famous and big enough to own a circus, that he would have a, an animal-free circus, something great for the kids and uh, great for the people that want to throw hatchets. You could have a perf uh, an excellent uh, bar of uh, food court over here. So yeah, so that's Mr. Von Creep's vein, uh, idea, and this and this is what he's got. So he's quite an outgoing guy because he is a he's a businessman. Uh, don't let the Hawaiian shirt fool you. He is a businessman. But we're gonna go down the uh, the list because the circus is nothing without its loyal crew. So first up, we have we have Blue Fight. Now Blue Fight. She was working in the uh, the local Quickie Mart when uh, Mr. Von Creep discovered her, and uh, she, had, you know, she wanted to get out and see the world, and she always had a passion for uh, pastries and baked goods, and uh, so Mr. Von Creep kind of gave her that sold her on the idea of joining the circus and running his food court. She can make some excellent churros and um, you know occasional turkey leg, things like that. What else do you have? Deep fried Snickers. So she jumped at, you know, jumped at the opportunity. She got to see the world. She got to bake things. Yeah, why not? She got to get out of her quickie mart. So this is her food court over here. She has this uh, this tent over here with her with her stuff. And, uh, well, she's, she's decided to change some things up a little bit because in her food court, you buy uh, drinks and cakes. <laughs> that's what she does in her, her food court. So, uh, yeah, that's her spot at station over here. Will she be stuck here for the rest of her life? Probably not. We'll see what uh, what we can do with her. She has visions of maybe she'll own her own Quickie Mart one day. I don't know. With her own baked goods. Next up we have Maya. Now Maya's a little odd, as you can tell. She is uh, she's green. And one day while the circus was traveling through New Mexico, they noticed Maya walking alongside the road. And, uh, of course, a circus is nothing without some sort of strange lady, whether it be bearded or pig-faced or whatever circuses have. And with the uh, seeing the green lady, he knew he had to have her. And uh, she was alright with that because uh, Maya is a bit of a mystery. We don't know what is... Why is she green? What is she doing? Why is it when people look at her, she's studying them so well? We don't know. Something is up with, with Maya, that's for sure. So anyway, she's a fixture here at the circus now. And uh, next up we have, we have Bellstar. And Bellstar was uh, playing some rock, rock, paper, scissors with Maya here. And she apparently she just, she just won. Good job. So she was uh, with the roller derby team back at her hometown, but she got uh, got fired from the roller derby kit team. And, and she was a bit bummed, so her friends decided to take her to the circus. Um, and while she was there, a little kid tried to sneak off with a turkey leg and make it run for it. Well, being a good citizen she was, she clotheslined that little kid and knocked him out. And save the day and got the turkey leg back. Well, Mr. Von Creep saw that and knew that he found himself a security guard in uh, in Bellstar here. So Bellstar is quite the security guard, and uh, she, it's quite a, a thing for her. She enjoys it, so maybe she will uh, go a bit further into the security business. Maybe Nookstone needs needs a uh, cop. Maybe. And last but not least, certainly we have Binky. No circus is complete without a creepy clown. So Binky had a rough, a rough going, th growing up. Uh, when he was in, uh, oh, she's looking at him. That's kind of strange. When he was going through his uh, high school days, he was dared to get a uh, face tattoo, and uh, he went, he went all in because that's what Binky does. And uh, it was great for the first day, but uh, after that, it did not go well, and uh, he was kicked out of his parents' house. And he lived on the street for a while, because who's going to hire a guy with a face like that? And so th times were rough for Binky, from shelter to shelter. 
And not only that, but Mingy's a bit of a slob. So no circus wants to hire him because he leaves his balloons everywhere and he just throws pies at people and just doesn't clean it up. So, yeah, he had a rough go, but Mr. Von Creep decided to give him a bit of a break. So we got Binky the Clown here joining us. First off, though, what we need to do is we need to open this business up. I should give a tour of the town here. We're going to business and start a home business. So, a bit of the town, this is the, of the place. We have, yeah, they are living in trailers because this is a circus. And so most everyone's spot is over here. We have some bedrooms over here, and we have a bathroom, a little kitchen, and a living room table, that kind of thing. This is for everybody, but Mr. Von Creep has his own spot. And we have the, kind of the kids area around here. Yes, Mr. Von Creep is the owner. Okay, and we need to... Uh, we open, yeah, we gotta turn this on, start charging customers, and we're gonna set the price. How much did, how much did you charge to... Uh, Join the circus. I don't know. How much? How much per hour? Ten bucks? Here, we'll see what that gets us. I don't know. Customize. Mm. All right. Whoa, ten bucks an hour. That's what it's going to cost to join this. Mr. Nook is here. Mr. Nook, you got more important things to spend your money on. Nico is here. Oh, and uh, I'm busy uh, giving you the tour here. So this is uh, Mr. Vaughn Creep's little uh, hut around here, who for some reason Bell Star is, is hogging at the moment. Hey, get out of there. This isn't for you. Go there. I need to lock this door to anyone but Mr. Von Creep here, because this is his. So there's his spot. We have the food court over here, which I showed off a little bit earlier. With all her uh, stuff in here, and she makes some fine cakes and uh, drinks, and you make your own drinks here. We'll get something else going out here. We can throw it out on the shelves. We have the porta potties over here. They kind of look like porta potties, I think. Porta potty looking, maybe. <laughs> They're kind of big for porta potties. I didn't know how well The Sims would do with <laughs> with only one square space in there, so we made them a little bit bigger. And we have the crafting uh, section of the circus on this side. Um, no circus is complete without. Oh, we made our first dollar. It's complete without hatchet throwing, of course. So there we go. I'm excited I tried the sports activity. That was a lot of fun. Well, yeah, it was, wasn't it? You should be working, though. Oh, man, you missed. And uh, what else we have? Um, oh, man, I completely forgot about Lion. Because no circus is complete without a lion, even though this is the Animal Free Circus. Where is he? Where are you at? He's over here. Yeah, there's Lion. So he was a, he's a fixture of the circus. And we have a, we have a doghouse for him, and we have a food bowl over here for him. So yeah. So there we go. There's the, there's the kids area. If I show this off. We have some sort of bubble blowing thing over here. We have a violin laying here because I laid that down and I didn't think about it. That's okay. So there we go. There's the circus. Let's see what everyone is up to at the moment. We are open for business at the moment. We have a couple visitors. We have Mr. Nook here who is, uh, what's he doing? Just kind of cruising around. Anyone else showed up? Maya is having a chat with Amanda. Abajit. Abajit. Hey, what are you doing? No. No. Get away from there. What are you doing? No. Somebody yell at him. Scold for destroying furniture. Do it. Come on. No, don't hang out. Go do that. You get him. Yeah. You watch it there, lion. You tell him. Yes. Bad dog. Bad, bad dog. Bad. Goopy's taken off. Sorry, Goop. Oh, he didn't like that. Is everybody gone? Did all of our visitors leave? No, oh, Amanda's still here. Let's go here, Circus. We have, what is this? Party favor. Oh, I didn't realize I left it there. We got some more visitors. Katie McGraw is showing up. Let's watch her uh, grab a ticket. She's thinking about it. Thinking about it. We may need to hire some folks, actually. This may not be enough. We'll see. Thinking about it. Matthew Smith. Matthew Smith has a nice beard. What do you think, guys? There you go. Can you, uh... Can you 
come over here and like chat to him and influence to no. We do anything else with him? Sales. I can tell you to pet lion. Is that uh, something you can? Uh, that sounds like a circusy thing, right? Petting the lions. You know, it's not really a lion. So anyways, we need to get some of this. Oh, you know what else I need to do? I need to sell these cakes. So we're going to mark these cakes for sale. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll use the average price. We'll make some eventually. In fact, let's go ahead and... Uh, where is she? Here she is. She is. What are you doing? Are you sleeping? No, you're relaxing. All right. Come on in here. Won't you make me... Can you make... Um, serve... Just make many toaster pastry, pastries. There we go. We'll sell some of those over here. We probably should hire. Lion is starving. Oh, we gotta feed the pet. I always forget to feed my pets. <laughs> All right. Uh, does he have? No, oh, he has food. He's fine. Yeah, he's fine. All right, you calm down, game. You don't know. And you want to buy a pet bed? You want to get him a job in the showbiz. You want Lion to get a job. You really want to get Lion to get a job in showbiz. That makes sense. Everyone's over here at the circus checking out the cake stand. Yes. Check about $31 for those cakes. That's a bargain. Candles come included. Oh, Matthew didn't think so. There we go. Mouth-watering plate of toaster pastries. So let's get those out there. Um, inventory is... This one, there we go. I'm gonna set those on the shelf. Is that a good spot for them? Yeah. There we go. We're gonna put them for sale. How much does this toaster pastry sell for? Fourteen dollars. Man, that's expensive. I hope those are good. There we go. Make some some fine carnival food. Oh, Matthew doesn't think so. He's leaving. Oh, we have another one. Who is this? Marissa. Come, Marissa. Join the circus. We also have Parkeet has joined us. Hey, Parkeet! So I need to uh, lock this to everyone. Yeah, you're not supposed to be over here. You're supposed to be over here. We need to lock this door to everyone but you. Lock to me only. There you go. Everyone else needs to get out. Get out of there, clown. Yeah, you too, Maya. Uh, go here. Go get in your own bed. This is for the boss. Who's this guy? Joe Graham. Oh, hey. Enough enthusiasm about Kazine. Talk about it with other Sims. Hey. Is she still making them? She is. She's hard at work. Good. At least somebody's doing something. Oh, I want to see this. What does this do? Oh, hey. She makes bubbles. Check it out. It's kind of exciting. All right. This Katie's having a good time. Not a lot of kids here in town. Who is this? Kobe. Where is, uh... Where are you at? Are you snoozing? Everyone's just relaxing. What kind of circus is this? At least somebody's working. I'm going to hire some folks, though. I think that might be a good idea. So, let's... Let's go hire an employee for this lot. We need to hire somebody to run the cash register and uh, just kind of clean things up. Might be a good idea, because I have a feeling my sims are not going to be doing that, because they are slobs. Especially Binky. Binky is a slob. You want to get a, you want a job in the music career? Culinary career? You want to have a party? You know what? Let's do it. Can we have a party? Yeah. Why not? Invite everyone to town. It, it, it won't, it won't probably won't get any money out of it if we invite them over, but... At least they'll get this circus on the ground. You know, first day, everything is free. Sure, why not? we got to hire our first guy. Salary requirement. This guy is cheap. He's a host. We don't want a host. Oh, he is a host right now. Check out the charisma on this guy, Kennedy. Very nice. Oh, she has some badges. She has cosmetology and restocking. That could be good. LaShawn. And he has the same things. Oh, robotics. No skills, though. 
you have no badges. But but Terra is cheap. Terra is very cheap. All right, Terra, you're hired. Because we like cheap. Okay. Come on in, Terra. Well, I actually probably need to be closing up pretty soon. We will have a party in the morning. No, you know what? Let's do it now. It's party time. Do I throw a, throw a party? Um, a New Year's bash. Um, sure. We're gonna buy some party balloons, though. That's for sure. Alright, party stuff. Let's throw some balloons. On oh, the old Sims one, you had to put balloons out, I guess, for a party. I guess this one you won't have to, but we gotta put some things out. Um, how about some, f oh, we gotta do a bon, we gotta do a big bonfire, yeah, there we go, we'll start this show off, right, Dinko's Fountain of Fiery Jubilations, okay, it's not the new year, but that's okay, we already have one of those, we have, I think we have Dinko Box of Blasts, yeah, well, last time we had fireworks on the Sims 1, it didn't end well, hopefully this works a little better, some of that, that'll be alright. Yeah, we'll get people here. We'll uh, get the show on the road. What was this? Oh, let's hang this somewhere. Can I hang it somewhere? I can hang it on a wall. We have a wall right here. No, it has to be on the ceiling, I guess. All right, we won't do those. Okay. So folks coming over. Oh, we can throw one person. Yes, invite Amanda. <laughs> yes, one person to our party. To party at 8 tonight. Let's have a blast for the new year. There's always a chance that some guests might not show up. Hopefully she shows up because she's our only one. We are still making a little bit of money from people coming over here, even though it's late. Oh, here we go. There's some fireworks. Yeah. Why is there a why is there a bear in the what? That's not right. Oh, blue fight. You can stop cooking now. Stop that now. You made a billion things. How much do you have in your inventory now? You have ten of them now. Alright, we have lots of toaster, toaster pastries. She should be a master toaster pastry maker. Alright, party time. We have some people are here. Why are you still in this house? You're not supposed to be in here anymore. Get out of here, Binky. Alright, we won't. All right, so let's go light the fire. That'll put this show on the road. Stop playing that. Go light the fire. Get over there. Brandy is going to have a... What are you eating? Uh, you're eating some soup or something. Bellstar is doing some cleaning. Where are you at? You're cleaning up in here. Good job. Very nice. Have a seat. Even though there's a party going outside, why don't you join in out here? All kinds of things are going on. There we go. And now it's a party with nobody. What do you think, everybody? Brandy's gonna join in. No, oh, whoa, oh no. What are you mad about? Oh, oh, oh man, it doesn't calm down. It's not that bad. We complained that. You know what? Oh man, she's so furious. Hey, calm yourself. Oh, it's a music and dance activity. Binky, get out here. We have guests that are mad because you are not clowning around. You're in there. What are you doing? Drinking something in there? Drinking. Who are you? Why are you in here? Oh, because it's locked. Oh. All right, now you can get out. I locked you guys in there, didn't I? <laughs> Whoops. All right, get out. You going to join in? All right. This is not much of a party, I don't think. We don't know anybody for parties. It's okay. We're going to start off the uh, circus day <laughs> with a giant fire. That'll get people coming. Neil Cameron. Como? People are still showing up. What time is it? Uh, almost 10 o'clock. Some late party goers. Hey, Neil. Neil, a guy or a girl? I can't really tell. 
I'm gonna buy some things. Made those uh, fresh today. I probably need a cashier. Uh, why don't you come come cashier some things? There you go. What's she buying? Did you buy something? Did you buy a cake? No. Oh, you bought my put. Oh, right. You bought my toaster pastries. I hope you like them. I spent like eight hours making toaster pastries. Are you mad? Hey, calm yourself. You're the first customer. You should be proud. Good, go, go away. Maya, why don't you come over here and uh, see if you can... Um, see if you can get them to buy some cakes. Show off your green skin. Yeah, buy some that. cakes. What is this? Why is there trash on the ground? Oh, that's the newspaper. Oh, he's having some issues with his cash register. But we sold him. That's good. This guy... He's not happy. She's going to bed. Hey, Josh. Where are you going? Where are you going to use the bathroom? Komal needs to buy something. Can I help you? Komal? You're only enthusiasm about... Oh, you're in there cooking now. Oh, you're cooking again. Oh, man, you were just a cooking machine. Look at you. What are you making now? I don't know. She now serves chips and dip. I don't know what she's making, but she is making something. I know our, our teddy bears have all burned. So that's kind of sad. See, so yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna call this one uh, quits here. And uh, so thank you for watching. And uh, next time maybe we'll figure out what's going on with that UFO over there. But uh, eventually we'll get these circus guys moving too. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. See ya.